Hello everyone, I'm Umi. I'm happy to see you back on my channel. I hope you are all in a good mood. So this time I'm making a different video and it is a tutorial. Last month my friend Magne asked me to make a crochet spider web top and if you don't know her you should visit my Minecraft videos. Then I did some research on Pinterest and YouTube. I tried to understand and figure out how I could do it. And then I did it. <laughs> Finally, I did it. This project is very easy. Beginners can do it. You can make it um, four days to seven days. If you are really fa fast, you can make it in three days, I don't know, I made it in one week. Now, let's start the video. Okay, so the yarn I'm using is the Alice Angora Gold, the color number is 60, and I'm going to use a 2mm hook. I found a pattern on Pinterest, I don't know who made it, but here I'm using it. And for this project, you need to know how to magic circle, how to chain, how to double crochet, and how to slip stitch. So let's begin. We are starting with making magic circle. Just follow my steps. Grab your your grab your yarn just like this and turn it. And then grab your hook and just do this. <laughs> it's a little bit hard. So this is the magic circle. Now chain two. and do 17 double crochet into this hole so the first one yarn over insert pull through twice and double crochet this is double crochet this is first and second and third now let's meet when we have 17 double crochet now we have 17 double crochets into the magic circle just pull this yarn to close it and I can't do it right now tight tighten it and yes we have this circle now so cute so the next step is um, uh, come here find the third chain this is oh wait <laughs> This first, second, and third. Now slip stitch, slip stitch. Okay. Now I've done first row. Always count your rows. It really helps. Because sometimes I always <laughs> forget where I am. We done first row. Now we are doing the second. For the second row, chain three, one, two, three, and chain six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now yarn over, skip two double crochets, these two, and insert your yarn into third one, just like this. make a double crochet 
Now chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and again, slip, skip, sorry, skip two. Insert your yarn into the third one. Make a double crochet and repeat it till the end. This is a repeat. I made the last double crochet now. Six chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, and into the third chain. Make a slip stitch and we are done. Oops. Okay, now we are done and it looks like a little lover. I like it. We done row two. Now we are in three. Let's continue. Chain three. One, two, three, and four. One more. Chain four. Now make a double crochet into the stitch that we slip stitch into. And you can see it very clearly. This is the beginning of the third row. Now chain four. One, two, three, four. Now make a double crochet into the third chain. One, two, three. Like this. Now chain four. One, two, three, four, and make a double crochet into the top of this double crochet. If we, if I can pull it, you can see this is the top of it, and ah, oh, it's a little. Pain. Oh my! I couldn't make it, <laughs> and I'm making a tutorial. <laughs> Let me do it again. Okay, just like this. Now, chain one, and make another double crochet into that stitch and that makes it a shell this is called a shell and now this is the repeat so you're going to chain four double crochet into the third chain of 16 and now another shell on this uh, on top of this double crochet and just repeat it and if you want to look at the picture i'm going to leave this so i made my last double crochet now chain four one two three four and Slip stitch into the very uh, slips and uh, I'm really can't speak today. Okay, slip stitch into the third one like this. Now chain four. Double crochet into the in, double crochet into these two like this now chain six one two three four five and six 
make a double crochet top on this double crochet and when I pull you can see the stitch okay now chain six The, and shell into this shell one double crochet chain one and another double crochet so this is the repeat you're going to make chain six double crochet on top this double crochet and chain six and shell into shell and so goes on well i'm at the end of this row so chain six one two three four five six and slip stitch into the third one let me find it okay now we are at fifth row chain four and double crochet into these two oops okay now chain seven and double crochet on this double crochet chain several a uh, chain <laughs> chain seven and shell into shell chain seven double crochet on double crochet and so it goes on i finished this row and already slip stitched now let's make next row again chain four one two three four and double crochet now so we are going to chain eight and double crochet on top of this double crochet and then chain eight and shell into shell chain eight double crochet chain eight shell and so goes on and when you and then for the next row you are going to increase your chains by two so that means for next row you need to make chain 10 and other row you need to make chain 12 and so goes on and for the final row you should have 34 chains and when you done this it is going to look just like this I have 34 chains in this last row. After the video, I continue crocheting but stop because it started to get dark. I continue crocheting the next day and finish it that day. I'm back and I finished this. So when you finished it, you should have 20 rows. And your final chain number is should be 34 you can adjust the size by your size or even your breast size you can continue to make the rows and now we have to make shoulders so to start making shoulders you just have to find the middle of these chains I have 34 chains so my middle is 17 <clears throat> start counting from this double crochet start from here and find the middle this is a 17 chain I'm going to insert my yarn 
here and make a knot. So I'm done. Now make four chains. One, two, three, four. Make a double crochet. And now we are ready to start. So for my size, I'm going to make 20 chains. and yarn over make a shell on shell double crochet chain one and double crochet make 20 chains and make a double crochet chain one and double crochet again this is the first row of the shoulder start counting from this double crochet find the middle and make a chain four make a double crochet chain 20 make shell on shell and make 20 chain chains find the middle and made make a shell so i'm going to make the second row So that means chain four, one, two, three, four, turn, and make a double crochet in middle. Make twenty chains. yarn over and make shell on shell make 20 chains yarn over and make a shell double crochet chain one and double crochet so this is the second row continue to continue to make the rows till you have five rows so for the start make chain four turn your project and make a double crochet make chain 20 shell on shell chain make chain 20 shell on shell and make till you have five rows 
I'm going to show you what the finished one looks like. This is the finished one. One shoulder. So I have five rows. One, two, three, four, five. And make the other one actually simple. Again, from this double crochet, find the middle and make just like this. I'm back. I've done every size and and now we are going to connect the pieces front and back but before doing this I ironed it first because the chains looked really uh, just gathered and now they are looking more um, flat <laughs> now they are looking more flat and I like the I like it that way so we are going to connect it from the shoulders also I'm giving you an advice do your ironing with a towel on it okay I'm going to show you where you connect Okay, so from this shell to this shell, connect it, and from this shell to this shell, connect it, and lastly, from this shell to this shell, connect it with a basic knot, and do it for the other side. Oops. And that's all. Okay, I finished tying it and it slowly started to take shape. It's uh, looking nice. And now, um, before making the arms, we need to connect one last space to this from here. Keep this double crochets and tie a simple knot from these shells. If you can see, I'm going to show it again. This is the shoulder, and from this, skip this double crochets and tie these shells. It's time for the sleeves, so first insert the hook through the place where we joint the shoulders and find here. If, uh, if you can't find, you can easily find. So for me, it's here. Oh, please wait. <laughs> Here, take the rope and <clears throat> take the yarn and make a basic knot. <laughs> My kids' fur is everywhere. I hope you can see. Okay, it's tight enough. Now, chain four. One, two, three, four. And one double crochet. and chain 20 
increase the number if you are making big size now make double crochet under the first shell so it's here make 20 chains double crochet on this double crochet make 20 chains find middle and make double crochet here make 20 chains make a shell between these shells and I'm going to show you where exactly it is One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. Make twenty chains. yarn over find middle and crochet here double crochet here make 20 chains and slow turning double crochet on this double crochet make 20 chains yarn over and make double crochet under this shell make 20 chains Twenty. Oops, 
not yarn over I couldn't find sorry okay so it's here <laughs> Slip stitch into the chart chain. For the second row, you need to make chain four. One, two, three, four. Double crochet in middle. And repeat the first row. Make 40 rows. You can adjust the size. It's looking like this. I know it's a little bit confusing because of my black yarn. I'm really sorry for that, but this is the, what I have. And this is the what finished one looks like. It has 40 rows. It looks a little gathered, but we are going to iron it. And when we done this, it's a little looking just like this and this. <laughs> so I've done this sleeve. Now I'm going to show you how you iron sleeves. So you need two hand towels, fold it into a rectangle and just insert it. So oh, look, it's strained, and now put another towel on it, and then do the ironing. So it's looking like this when we done ironing. It turned out really awesome. And look how sleeves extended. And also this is the other one I made. It's also nice. Now you just need to get rid of those extended yarns. I'm sorry, but I totally forget to mention Etsy. And it is when you done doing sleeves and when you done ironing, you need to connect those double crochets. And when you done this, it's totally and completely complete. <laughs> when you done this, it's completely done. And all you need to do is get rid of the extended yarn. I hope you liked the video. This is the first tutorial video I've made. So forgive me if I made a mistake. I spoke clearly in the video, but if there's still something you don't understand, Make sure to mention it in the comments. If you crochet it too, please share it with me. I would love to see how it is. If you like it, please like my video and share your ideas in the comments. I have one more crochet video idea. If the likes for this video be high, I'm thinking of recording it. Then I see you in the next video. Bye! Oh my god, it's paper! <laughs> Ew.
Hulk. <laughs> he is a defeated soldier than me. Thank <laughs> you.